Rotational molding. It's how most large plastic products are made. Things like water and fuel tanks, kayaks, road barriers, and toys are all rotationally molded. Over 3.6 billion pounds of plastic are rotationally molded each year. Rotational, or roto-molding, starts by putting plastic powder into a hollow metal mold. The mold is heated in a big oven while being turned. The plastic powder melts onto the inside of the mold, which is then cooled. Then, the finished part is pulled out and more plastic put into the mold to start the process again. But rotational molding has problems. It uses natural gas or sometimes kerosene for heat. Rotational molding burns over 18 trillion BTUs of fossil fuel and generates over 2 billion pounds of greenhouse gases each year. Most of the heat is wasted out of the oven chimney, and rotational molding equipment is big, heavy, and expensive, requiring a substantial factory building with an industrial gas and electric hookup. But Light Manufacturing LLC has a better way. Solar Thermal Rotational Molding not to be confused with solar electricity, solar thermal energy uses radiation from the sun to directly heat something, like water. Rooftop solar hot water systems use solar thermal energy to heat water for home or industrial purposes. But ordinary sunlight isn't powerful enough to melt plastic. It takes about 20 times that energy level to melt plastics used in rotational molding. How do we generate this powerful solar beam? Using heliostats. A heliostat is a simple computer-controlled mirror which reflects the sun onto a target. As the sun moves across the sky, the heliostat adjusts to keep the target heated. A group of heliostats can work together to create a powerful, controllable heat source for rotational molding. Free, clean, unlimited energy directly from the sun. But wait, what about the economics? Most solar projects are only viable with subsidies or other incentives. Why is solar rotational molding different? Lots of reasons. Unlike solar electric projects, which require huge capital investments and are still very inefficient, solar rotational molding, or SRM, achieves over 75% thermal efficiency. More importantly, SRM radically reduces the capital requirements of the rotational molding process. Remember our traditional rotomolding factory? Instead of using large, heavy machinery to move molds into the oven, cooling, and workstations, SRM uses inexpensive fixed-position armatures. Instead of moving molds in and out of the heat source as in traditional molding, solar rotational molding moves the heliostat beam from one inexpensive armature to another as needed. We replace costly machinery and fossil fuel energy with cheap, simple machinery and free solar thermal energy. Solar rotational molding systems cost only about one quarter of what traditional molding systems do. SRM is unique among solar processes in that it offers better ROI, lower operating costs, and lower initial investment than the traditional alternative. So, SRM doesn't rely on government subsidies. It's competitive from the get-go. This disruptive technology allows a transformation of both developed world and developing world rotational molding. For the developed world, SRM reduces the cost of making plastic parts and makes the process much more sustainable. SRM is immediately competitive with traditional processes and is the lowest cost way to convert available solar energy into revenue. For the developing world, SRM is even more important. It provides a way for remote regions to capture solar energy to make valuable products. And unlike making solar electricity, capital costs are minimal and energy storage and transmission costs are zero. SRM can be profitably implemented in areas where solar electricity, farming, or most other economic activity is not viable. Light manufacturing provides IP licensing, system design, turnkey SRM hardware, and process analysis for clients around the globe. Whether you're a rotational molding equipment manufacturer, a plastic molder, or an NGO, Light Manufacturing is ready to work with you.